Hi, I'm Roger. Welcome back to my channel. Now, in the video today, I'm going to be talking about the top 7 laptop buying mistakes. And I'm going to be counting down. So please, stick around until the end so that you will see the number 1 laptop buying mistake that a lot of persons make. Right? And of course, yes, you can sti skip through the video to get to <laughs> um, the last one. But uh, I hope you'll watch through and that you will benefit from the content. Alright, let us jump right into the video. Now, number seven is purchasing a laptop without any power protection equipment. No, look here now. You're purchasing a laptop. And for many persons, it is a huge investment. Yes, and you want to make sure that you are getting the appropriate equipment, something like even a UPS or at least a voltage regulator to connect the laptop to when you are charging it so that you will extend the life of the laptop. Hold that at home. All right. Number two, number six, buying a used or an outdated laptop again there are persons who yes they may be on a tight budget they go there they see a laptop which is used but the fact of the matter is if it is used it may have defects it may have challenges that may not be obvious to you now or even to the person who is selling it it may surface later on and bear in mind too that the purchase in a unit that is that is used you may not have warranty coming with it so you want to be careful of that and the, the unit may also be outdated number five being brand loyal here again there are some persons who they will not explore options outside of a particular brand and yeah sometimes we find that there are brands out there with units having features which may even better complement who we are working with you know so you want to explore you want to see what what is out there the options and to as use that note to assist you to make the best purchasing decision all right number four overpaying for the laptop i i see this too when persons for instance purchase at particular places specific places and you know that that place that their equipment whatever they sell tends to be very pricey so you want to shop around shop around and make sure that you're getting the best value for your money number three is purchasing a laptop which is not upgradable and this is another thing again so you want to make sure well there are a couple of things that are very critical to the speed of a laptop so you're looking at things like the processor the type and speed of the processor the amount of memory and the type of memory also the video card also key and of course well i said three uh there's also the the, s the storage the type of storage and the size of the storage also important to what you'll be going to be doing so you want to look out for that but it may be that you may purchase uh, a a system and you're not able to upgrade the memory you're not able to upgrade the storage yeah so you want to look out for that number two is not testing not testing the laptop not testing the unit before you actually pay over that cash and walk through the doors of the store with it and here now i'm referring now to you actually walking into walking into a store to make a purchase because obviously if you were to purchase it on amazon you would be able to, to actually use it on amazon but however you can let us say that you go on amazon you, you see a unit it interests you you can perhaps go to a store in your community um, inquire if they have that particular unit they have it and you can test it out right so you want to test it out make sure that it will be able to complement you know your your need and number one can you imagine it can you imagine we are at the end already so number one the number one laptop purchasing mistake that i see a lot of persons making is can you guess it can you guess it all right let me tell you it is that there are persons who are purchasing laptops 
which do not meet their need or needs so what happens is that they typically purchase persons uh, as i've come to see a lot of persons they tend to purchase the laptop the unit based on the price no come on I, I, yes i know that you have to also consider your budget but you also importantly you also want to make sure that you are purchasing that unit which complements your need and as i would have said to recommend it to persons too uh, sometimes you may be seeking to purchase a unit you may not be able to purchase the one that you would ideally like to have if you can so if you can delay the purchase and accumulate some more monies then consider doing that but you don't want to go out and purchase something in ignorance and then you know a few months down the line perhaps a year after you realize that well this doesn't fit my need it may be too slow it may have something like a celeron processor for instance as i you know um advise persons to be weary of buying a system with a celeron processor or a core intel core i3 processor because they're pretty much slow all right so these are some things that you need to look out for uh, i can't uh, i can't overemphasize it I can overemphasize it because to tell you the truth, you know, I've been into. I remember some time ago doing doing a research, some research for uh, a video, walking into a store inquiring about laptops, and uh, what the first thing that the sales rep said to me was that this unit is for whatever price. And uh, well, to be honest, I wasn't surprised. I wasn't surprised. So the sales rep did not seek to find out what i wanted the unit for uh, you know to get you know these relevant information and then know to look at what would best meet my need no it was hey <laughs> the, the um this is the cheapest one that we that we have and this is how a lot of persons um make their purchases they purchase it based on that information right they were offered the cheapest one and of course you may get the cheapest one it may not be the best for you because what you're doing now currently in the immediate future may require something that has far higher specifications all right so those are my top seven laptop buying mistakes right so look out for these things and try not to make them in your next laptop purchase so my name is roger thank you for watching and uh, please remember to share to like and also to hit that subscription button if you haven't yet subscribed to my channel and also hit that notification bell so that when i upload new videos you'll be automatically notified all right so i'm out of here see you again in the next video take care